So you've probably heard of the, of the word monsoon before, but if you're like me or like a lot of us, I would generally think of, when I think of monsoon, I think of a wet, uh, some, some, some location getting doused with rain. But actually, if a location experiences monsoons, they have a pattern of having a dry season, their winter season, and a wet season, their summer season. And kind of, I'm going to show you an example of how this wandering um, intertropical convergence zone actually is responsible for creating monsoons in India. So if a location is said to experience monsoons, that means that something like the intertropical convergence zone, or in the case of the monsoon in, uh, in North America, uh, we ha have a dry season and a wet season in our uh, kind of our southwest because of uneven heating seasonally. So let's look at the Asian monsoon seasons. Let's start with the wet summer season. Okay, notice the, let's see, point out a few things. These the kind of rough area, and I don't know exactly where, but I'm kind of making some mountain symbols here. These are the Himalayan, or the Himalayan mountains are right here. Okay, during the summer, um, India, well, let me just kind of generally circle this, how's that? <laughs> Tends to have a lot of precipitation. Um, notice that it's got, where the intertropical convergence zone is located, um, it's got, uh, it basically has these, uh, this warm, uh, moist air coming from the Indian Ocean. Now, actually, we would expect the, um, the prevailing wind that is south of the intertropical convergence zone, that like the southerly Hadley cell, to be the southeasterly trades. But I believe that, that since there is uneven heating between the land mass and the water, we basically end up kind of having a low over the land, which kind of makes this kind of a sea breeze sort of situation. So kind of that um, we have incoming uh, uh, moist air and it slams up against the Himalayans and it is orographically lifted. So in the summer months, uh, this part of the world experiences a lot of rainfall. Let's look uh, six months later and notice that the intertropical convergence zone is way down here now. It has uh, wandered. It's no longer over the Himalayans. Now we can clearly see uh, from our two Hadley cells, there's a Hadley cell here and a Hadley cell here. Um, and here we have our converging uh, northeasterly trades and our southeasterly trades. And so now look what's happened is that the folks in this part of the woods, I'll go ahead and circle the same region, notice that they'll have a dry season. Not only dry, but it's going to, yeah, it's going to be dry descending air. Okay, sorry, I'll go back, make sure you got all of those. All right. Um, this H right here, you might notice that this is an H we saw on the previous map, where this is one of those semi-permanent high pressures where the, the Hadley cell peters out and meets the feral cell. So, well, what about North America? Well, um, the southwestern U.S., northwest Mexico kind of interacts with the Gulf of Mexico to have a wet season and a dry season. The summertime there, um, the land heats up more quickly than the Gulf, and so it creates a low pressure over the land, and it kind of, we end up with kind of like a sea breeze, basically, from the Gulf of Mexico. So that warm, moist air comes in from the Gulf, and it's lifted up um, as part of the, I think the Rockies peter out there. And so with that lifting mechanism in place, they get a lot of thunderstorms and wet, uh, a lot of precipitation uh, through September. Then uh, when September comes, they end up having a dry, uh, a dry season. So this is kind of showing you uh, that sort of situation where you can kind of see the Rockies here and moist air from the Gulf, moist air from the Pacific, and it's lifted. And actually, sometimes storm chasers will go out in this neck of the woods and kind of 
seasonally enjoy chasing storms out there. So just to kind of show you the two seasons with regard to precipitation, these bars of course are showing you uh, precipitation amounts. So notice that, goodness, um, there's June and there's July. July, August, September. Check out the rainfall. Okay, so again, it's very much seasonal. 